Hey guys, Nameflate here. Um, today I'm going to do a video on my CRKT fossil. But uh, first, I wanted to mention that um, uh, SSR Knives and Guns passed away. He's a guy on YouTube who does a lot of knife videos, part of the knife community and gun community. And yeah, I just wanted to mention that he passed away. So, it's very sad. But, so... Yeah, but uh, I'm doing a video on this knife today right here. It's your PT fossil. So, get the box right here. So yeah, keep most of the boxes in case I decide to sell the knives. But, uh, let's get started on the review here. So, these handles are G10. And then I think 2CR 13 MLB stainless steel underneath the G10 scales. Um, they're pretty hammered out and stuff, and they're pretty grippy. It's out really fast. We got jimping on the thumb ramp right there. Um. Yeah, it, wor it works pretty well, too. You can really get a good grip on it. And yeah, like I said, these are pretty grippy, but they're they're sort of, s like, smooth feeling, too, at the same time. But you can lock your hand in there pretty well. This is the small version. So, I'll get a ruler out here. Overall, it is about... Seven point. Um, let's try to read here. It's about seven and three quarters overall. So, and the blade. I can do just the blade too. The blade is just over three inches. It looks like three and a quarter about. Um, it has this little cutout here, just for aesthetics. Looks pretty cool. Um, it's got 8CR13 MOV stainless steel. And it's this fossil Icoma design. And that little symbol right there is um, the IKBS ball bearing system that this has. And yeah, just basically, there's little ball bearings that the blade rides on behind the pivot screw there and it makes it really smooth this is not assisted it feels like it is but it's not and oh yeah um hey measured already this is the small version and there's also a large but I got the small because I wanted an EDC knife uh, they run for about fifty dollars so you can actually get the large one at Walmart, at least here. I don't know about anywhere else, but yeah, I was talking about the IKBS. It's super smooth. I really like that. And it's a frame lock. Basically, it, you can, I guess you could call it a liner lock, but it's more of a frame lock. Um, and then the pocket clip here, it looks pretty cool, but, uh, it tends to get snagged a lot, like, on a, it does a lot for me on, a, like, getting out of a car on the seatbelt. So, yeah, that's not too great, but, uh, I guess it looks pretty cool, and, but it would be nice if it didn't snag so much. And then the flipper tab also has a little jimping on it. So it helps to get a little grip. And then it's it's got this uh packet uh liner here. And a little jimping right here, but that doesn't do too much for grip. And jimping down here. But yeah, that doesn't do a whole lot. It's pretty smooth actually.
So yeah, um, I actually saw Cult Real Lover's video on this knife. He took the scales off and it actually looked alright without them. If you don't like the look of that, you could just take it off and have the bare steel. But yeah, oops, sorry. Other than that, it's just an overall good EDC knife. It's really, it came really sharp. It's got a cool blade shape too. I will mention though, if you don't like recurve, it's got a little bit of one, so it could be hard to sharpen. If you don't have a good sharpener. Yeah, but it's just a really good EDC knife. I'll still be carrying it for a long time. I really like it. And I also have the Griptilian and the Spyderco um, Delica here, Delica 4, for a little size comparison. I'll open them up. So yeah, it's a little longer than both, both of those, just a little bit. I think the Delica is actually longer than the Griptilium, just a little bit. But yeah, so yeah, the the uh, CRKT Fossil is a little bit lo longer than both of these. Yeah, it's just really cool knife. And you can also use this, I guess, but it kind of digs into my finger and I don't like using that too much. So yeah, it's about $50 knife pretty much anywhere. Um, you can get them at Walmart for that price, I think. I think they're on Amazon for around $50. So if you like the look of this knife and you want a good EDC knife that is actually functional and looks cool, this is might be a good option for you. So thanks for watching guys.